Hey guys, this is Dot One Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So, guys, I'm really excited this time around because finally the moment that I have been waiting for for the last few weeks has come, and that is a guaranteed champion event from Sacreds. So, as you see, I have 16 Sacreds. I was waiting on the 51 because I knew that there will be another guaranteed champ uh, guaranteed uh, legendary event from Sacreds anytime soon. It was a little bit later than I predicted, like I was expecting it to be last week. For those of you that follow my channel know that I mentioned it on the on my Champion Chase video where I didn't pull any Sacreds during the 2x Sacreds. I was saying I'm trying to do my best to save my shards to actually wait for something like this because you know, last time that this was uh, that I actually pulled for the guaranteed uh, champion from Sacreds, it was a wither and I'm definitely not regretting that because she made all my teams extremely, extremely good. And honestly, this time around again, the guaranteed one being Cecia is, this is huge. Like, she has a triple hit around the A1, then she has a, the chance with that to increase the duration of HP buns. On the A2, she does an AoE that places weak and then also places decreased defense if the target uh, has, a, if there are at least two enemies under HP burn, which is obviously for Spider, she would do that. But the most important part of her kit is this one. Instantly activates any HP burn on each target, then decreases the duration of those HP burns by one turn. Basically, Cecia is the champion that makes, uh, one of the champions at least, that makes speed farming uh, 25 like a lot easier. For example, I think if I get a Cecia, I might even be able to do something like 15 to 20 seconds on spider 25 which is insane if you think about it at the moment i'm doing like 35 to 40 seconds on that one on her a3 also has she does an aoe that uh, places hp burn on all uh, like all the enemies if she places all of the hp burn she gets an extra turn so you either you make her start with this one and then explode with the A2 or you bring somebody else that does the HP burn and you, you make her explode with her A2 and on her passive she increases her speed but, and the damage she inflicts by 3% for each uh, ally or enemy on the HP burn. On this one she places HP burn on herself plus this one uh, plus the A2 explodes them so basically she would gain a lot of, uh, uh, what's it called? A lot of speed and damage. At the same time, if Cardio is on the same, same team, all allies will heal by 3% of their max HP from HP burns instead of receiving damage. So she will do that. Uh, I think the heal happens even without Cardio on herself or or only the heal only happens if Cardio is there. Anyway, <laughs> this is not the most important part of the kit. The, the other one, like the explosion, honestly. And at the same time, she brings accuracy in all battles uh, aura by 60, which is huge. Like I said, at the moment, if, if I'm looking at my Spider 20 team, honestly, it's something like this. And like, let, let's uh, let's play it quickly. So you see this one. It's quite honestly, it's quite slow. You know, for for the for what teams are out there right now, where they can the people do it in 10, 12, 13, 15 seconds. This is a little bit too slow. So you know, I'm trying to get to the point uh, and to the place like with the you know with the big boys. <laughs> Basically, trying to get in there with the big boys and have a have a team that doesn't, you know, clo that uh, closer to you know under 20 seconds as possible. This one, like I said, it's like a 30, 30, 35 depends <clears throat> depends on RNG and all that. See, like 30, 35. So this is the reality, and this is why honestly I'm really looking forward for that. Sis, yeah. Obviously, at the same time, I'm hoping to get something along the way. So, oh my God. I, I'm a little bit nervous guys, not gonna lie. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm hoping to get something along the way, but if not, I'm happy at least with that Cecia. So good luck to me. Come on, let's see. Let's see. What can I get? Okay, we start with an epic. We start with a bushy. There's a few epics I still do not have, like a Geomancer, Cinesha, Aeox, so I wouldn't mind getting one of the new epics, definitely. That wouldn't be that would be bad. Scabrius, no thank you. Like on my account, there's not many champions that help me as epics, un unless it's like one of the few ones that I don't have. Geomancer, no. Ah, uh, Rockbreaker, good faction, wrong champion. Good faction, wrong champion. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Please, please, Geomancer, if it's an epic. Talia, no thank you. She's she used to be an OG nuker. She used to smack. Uh, I mean, she still smacks decently hard with this one. But there's so many better champions out there that she's she's like outside of the meta. She's not uh, viable anymore. 
Come on, come on, come on. Any more? Something? Oh, another one. Can I ask? No, thank you. Not even gonna wait. Come on, keep going, please. Another legendary along the way. Or a good epic. What with all the ladies? Chancellor Yasmin. Getting all the ladies. <laughs> no, thank you again. Like I said, unless it's the new epics, they don't help. Another one, the white bear, no thank you, it's one of the, it's like, from the two bears, he's the not so useful one, come on, come on, something else, please. Maeve, one of the sisters that, actually she doesn't require as many books, it's the other one, Alika and Sekara, that, you know, they, they go, they go to the library a lot. Oh man, how many, okay, four more away, come on, please, can I get another legendary, <laughs> maybe, or a geomancer at least. Okay, okay, legendary. Oh, Dupe Brogni. Okay, okay. I'll definitely take that. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's that's one of the best factions. Honestly, it might be one of the best factions to get dupes. And a Dupe Brogni I'm actually going to build. I think I'm actually going to build a Dupe Brogni. Because his kit is insane for Hydra, for overall content. Hell yeah, I'm going to take it. I'm really happy about this. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, okay. This is not so bad. This is not so bad. This is a good one. Come on, come on, let's see what else, what else, what else. And a, what's his face, Gori, no thank you. Gori was pretty interesting, like him, this passive of his, I haven't seen people test it or not, but he might be used in Hydra comps, like the same place, the same way Lady Eye is used, alongside like a Shamel, because he would always counterattack with the A1 when, uh, when the Torment Head would place fear, with the true fear. So this would be something that, Hmm, I might, I might have to try it once to see see how it actually goes. Come on, let's see, anything else? Maybe I get some more luck or that was it, okay. Another epic. Silesia, she's an extremely good champion. I have her on my free to play, she's godsend. AoE decrease defense that requires no book for chance to apply. AoE uh, chance to uh, increase duration of all debuffs. They're both on 3 third cooldown once booked. She also has some funky stuff with Hex and buffs, uh, debuff spread on the A1. So this could be interesting again, testing for Hydra. I haven't done it, I might do that as well. Come on, I think this is the last one or one more. Come on, what else? Okay, legendary. And yep, it's the last one and it's Sissia. So I got myself a nice Sissia. Oh, uh, I know definitely what I'm going to work on today. I'm going to build Sissia and I'm going to see what's the best that I can actually do with her. And I might actually book her for myself because she, apart from Spider, she's extremely useful for a... Uh, for Hydra as well, on you know, on the rotation where you don't have the wrath. I mean, even if you have the wrath head, you just you know place decrease attack and try and control him somehow, and she she can do some serious damage when she does the the HP bone explosion. But honestly, I'm really happy. I didn't expect you know because you I, I usually come in this with without expecting to pick anything to get anything good, but I didn't expect to get another legendary. I got to do Brogni. Hell yeah, I will take it. I'm gonna have fun with my Sissia. Hope you guys have uh, have luck as well with your sharp pulls. And yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna jump on stream now. Peace, love, see you guys. Bye.